Hey, how's it going guys? It's Shadow Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 15 of Sky Factory 1. And today we are, you know, currently just messing around. As you can see, I've kind of moved this system a little bit. I just moved the actual like pieces over to the end so I can actually access these drawers just a little bit easier. And you can see there's an entangled block here as well, which is actually just bound to this middle block. So I didn't have to like oddly run a cable or anything. Um, which is kind of a waste of ender pearls, but it's okay. We'll get more sooner or later anyway. Um, I've also moved the clay production thing over here. Um, that is just because I want to get rid of this whole area. I want to just completely just erase it kind of thing. I want to get this gone so we don't really have to worry about it anymore. Um, so yeah, this is basically going to be full of sand, full of dust, and full of all that fancy jazz sooner or later. So... Might as well try to get it removed. Um, currently working on something else though. So I was trying to do an unpacking. Also, there's a lot of death points here because I didn't light up an area uh, whenever I just expanded the platform over there and I got killed by Enderman several, several times. So let's just get rid of those. Um, but yeah, I died twice and almost died three times, but I killed all of them, so good thing alrighty so where what do I want to make a pickaxe out of let's see I don't think I have any iron on me oh, I have some pieces in here I have been moving everything over to some drawers like the iron and the nickel and all of that jazz which is currently sitting down here I don't know if I I didn't really mention that but all the ingots are down here now they're all in a drawer, just nice and compact, so I don't have to worry too much about overflow of chest. I can just throw some upgrades in there over time and call it good. All right, so let's go for a power cable down here. I kind of want to just put it under the ground, though, so let's just do that, that, and then... Come on. Can I get there? Aha, okay. Alright, so we'll just then... Apparently I can duplicate water or something. There we go. Alright. So that should be power there. And what we'll do is the multi-servo press. I made an unpacking die, which you don't... If you don't know what this does, basically anything that is, you know... Um, four or nine of one item it will basically just divide it for you um, which is really good because clay doesn't have a recipe of any sort that actually allows for you to unpack it right to basically turn it into clay balls so that's what we're doing here and the reason I want to do that is because honestly I don't really need clay itself I need clay balls because that's what I use commonly to, you know make bricks or make porcelain or anything like that so that's a really good thing we're gonna grab a drawer here and basically we'll just let these fill up to allow for us to just not need to worry about that kind of stuff anymore okay so let's go output to the right we'll need to grab the wrench get rid of that stuff and that should output and you can see that this will probably fill up quick but I'm okay with that. I don't really need a whole lot of clay balls, but if I have, you know, an entire drawer full of them and then an entire drawer full of clay, I'll be fine with that. This water thing is definitely not the best, but I don't think we have like the sink or anything. So we're gonna have to just kind of deal with this. Um, but this is connected to the original wireless fluid node, um, but currently has two fluid hoppers going into it. So hopefully, you know, it'll make it better. These will be slow. Um, I do want to get like an entire system uh, for this going. I think the best bet would be to actually make something like this. So we have another fluid thing here. Another infinite water source here. Right? Right? Or, well, not really there, I guess, but, like, right here? Hold on, let me, let me get this going. 
All right, so if I break this, break this. So I need to be able to just place water right there. All right, so I'd want two fluid hoppers. Okay, let me get the fluid hoppers real quick because it's not gonna fill properly here. All right, so let's see, so fluid hoppers. I need a little bit of that and a little bit of that. I'll need two chests. And then we'll need to turn these chests into wooden hoppers. Okay. And then over here I have some brick, I think, somewhere. And then we'll just turn these into fluid hoppers. Okay. And then we will do a fluid hopper here. And a fluid hopper here. And then we could actually probably cover that up. And we'll just take this bit of water. There we go. So that will now be four buckets per whenever being able to go into this instead of the original amount, which is perfectly fine by me. Um, I think one of the other things that's probably holding this up is its actual speed of exporting. So let's grab some sticks here. I don't really need to craft sticks. I, I really do need to stop doing that because I just have an abundance of sticks. Man, I really do need to get a better food source. All right, so let's just grab some sticks. We don't really need a whole lot, so let's just grab a couple. All right, and then we will do a basic Right, I think we only need one basic, and then we could probably go for a little bit better version of this. So just two gold. It'll be the first one we'll ever make in the series here. We go to the induction smelter, throw this in there, throw that in there, and there you go, you get an improved one. And of course you could make these, you know, better, just adding some lead, apparently. And you can also make those better by adding some Envar. So, that's pretty cool. We could definitely make some more of these in the future. I don't really need a better one than this, I think, but I guess we will see here. Okay, just shift click this. So we are moving 500 millibuckets every single tick. So that's half a bucket every tick. Um, I think if we went up with advanced, we'd probably get an entire bucket. Um, so maybe let's, let's revert on that idea. Let's make a lead one. Let's le add lead to this. Just because I want to be able to make sure this is going, you know, at least a reasonable speed. And since we have four buckets basically going into that fluid node, we should be able to really just like do this. We should be able to do this. This should be able to keep up because um, those fluid hoppers are pretty instant. And I think the travel between wireless is actually instant as well. So you can see that this is losing a little bit of water every time, and this is actually 2,000 millibuckets, so that's two buckets every tick. So this is definitely going to be sufficient because you can see that this like immediately is like, oh, done, 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 done. And over here, this takes time for it to actually do anything because you know it needs to get to the witch water stage. So that means we aren't using a whole lot of water constantly through this system. This is the one that's more using water um, constantly and you can see that we're actually backlogging on clay so that's a good thing we don't really care if that's happening as long as we can keep the power up which it looks like it's failing but these are at a hundred percent output aren't they it looks like we're not actually getting enough lava hmm Problems, problems, problems. These are, it's using too much lava. Um, well, how do we want to solve this one? Because it doesn't look like we have any reserve lava whatsoever, right? So, and it's not cobblestone. Cobblestone's not the problem because we have like 354 in here and it seems to be keeping up. How is this going? We have 74 slime blocks. Okay, so that's good. Um, 
Do we need to do a fluid transfer node over from here? Maybe steal some lava from this system? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so let me just clear out my hot bar a little bit here. I don't know. I don't know what we need to do, really. I mean, I don't really think we need to worry about it too much. Yeah, because it loses quite a bit of power, but then it regains it and loses it and regains it. If this fell before, behind like 45.9-ish, 45.6-ish, I think I'd be worried about it. But right now, I don't think we need to worry about it too much. But all right, so let's dismantle this system here. All right? Because this isn't really needed anymore. I don't know what I want to do with these drawers. I think I'm going to leave them here for a second at least. Um, so I can figure a place to do with them. Because currently I don't have any idea. And actually I kind of forgot there was a tier 3 generator over here. Cobble gen. So that's pretty cool. And this doesn't break with a tool by the way. Like there's no designated tool. I think I mentioned that before. So... That's why it takes so long for that. It's kind of annoying, but, you know, whatever. We'll live. All right, so let's go for breaking this. All right. And then break that cable. We'll pick up this drawer just because it is, you know, just down here. And we don't really need this. I mean, flint is one of those things that I don't really think we can do too much with. I think it's kind of just there, you know. Um, we could probably push it into some pulverizers for like secondary output, um, higher chances kind of thing if we really wanted to, but, uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. Okay. So let's take out this pulverizer. Let's take out this chest. Which I don't really have an ax or anything. All right. Let's get rid of this iron ore piece for some reason that I have. Let's go over here, right click on that. I should be able to pick this up now. So yeah, we are like full on that dust, which I mean a full drawer of dust isn't the worst thing. Could definitely use that a little bit. All right, we could actually go back up here can I actually access that from here? No. We can just like put some of that dust in there. Right? Just a wee bit. Alrighty. So let's see. Um, hmm. So yeah, we're full on that. So that's that should seize. That is awesome. Everything else is still running up here, right? Like we're good. We have a full drawer of dust. Holy cow, that is awesome. How are we doing on sand? We are keeping up. I think what I want to do is actually move the sieving system to over here. Because we would actually have a much cleaner sieving system if we put it over here. Because we could actually, like, know where we're going with it. Rather than just, like, putting it, like, one by the gravel drawer over here. And then running it, like, over here a little bit. You know, it's, it'd be a little bit cleaner <clears throat> at the end of the day. But I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's do something here. So I have a total of 18 sieves and sieve meshes. But all right, so we should be able to basically set these here, right? Because we're not using gravel for anything at all. There's nothing we could really use it for. So what I want to do is I think I want to go over one and place a total of nine of these. So then we want to place the sieves inside, of course. And I want to put another nine right here. So we're getting really close to that soul sand barrel. Hmm. Not 100% sure. I think we'll be fine. All right. And then we could actually grab two more of the clicky things blocks whatever they're called but first I want to 
punch a hole here. Do this. Take out every single connection. All right, well, not every single connection. I really shouldn't have taken out that one. But then we just want to go down, I think, like right there. Right, that should be like the click blocks position, right? Like one above it, I think, is fine. And then we can go for the other side. I think I'll move this somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure where I really want to put that. So I guess we'll see. I really need to get an axe. So I can axe these playing, axe this a question, you know? All right, then do that, do that. All right, too low, so right there, right? So what that should mean is we have two of these and I don't know if one absorption hopper should cover this. So let's actually just like close this off for business, right? Just a couple of these. I'm gonna go steal an absorption hopper from here. I don't actually think gravel was running. I think it still was deactive, but that's fine. All right, so let's see. So if we go over here, I don't think this is going to cover this. Let's see, show area. Okay, it will cover it, I think. So we want to probably go, not that direction, this direction. By one, just so we're kind of not too you know, far, I think. Hmm, this might be not the best idea because I wanna be able to make sure we grab everything and I'm not sure if this is quick enough to grab everything if that makes sense because if it launches outside of that like area right here we wouldn't be able to pick it up so what if i was able to i kind of want to put one under this right here right so if i was to do this okay and i were to you know, move it down i believe down like right about there. I wish you could shrink the range, honestly. Okay, that is not the right direction. I wanna go the opposite direction. So like right there's perfect. And we could just like move this over. So it kind of surrounds this one independently. And then we'll do the exact same thing with another absorption hopper, which we'll go take from this real quick. Cause I have enough resources to like hold this for a second. Like I don't need to actually keep this running for that long. Did that absorption hopper just get yeeted? No, it got picked up. Okay. Looks like we're full on blaze powder as well. So we need to fix that. A lot of things to be done around here. A lot of things indeed. Okay, show area. So we kind of want to match it with this one, right? So go right there, go down a couple. Okay, so down one, what did we do? Down one, over one, down one. Okay, I think that matches it. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so then what we'll want to do, of course, before we actually do anything is figure out how we're actually going to sieve this. Or we'll not really figure out how we're going to sieve this, how we're going to transfer items. I think what I want to do is have like a little area over here with all of our items in drawers, right? So, I mean, that's obvious because we're gonna keep the exact same system as over there, but I want to put it like right here-ish. So like start it from here, end it here, and then have like a drawer controller that we can actually use right? So let's just go for here, here, place a water bucket. I want this to go under the ground. OK, 
Okay. That's fine. That picked it up. All right. And then we can go down and just under here to a drawer controller, right? So then what we need to do is just set, what direction are we at? Uh, let's see. I don't even remember where this actually says it anymore. Facing west, okay, so west. Item, and then of course that direction is east. Just double checking because I don't want to get it wrong. All right, so east item. And then of course we can hit this as an export and this is an export. And we can put these upgrades back in here. All right? So then we can just cover this up after gathering our water back. All right. So what I want to see happen here is basically, uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I, I like, I want the rest of these to have a sieving system over here. Maybe I'll double up the sieving systems on this side and try to like run one big line down this area to this drawer controller so we can have everything over here. I think that's how I want to do it. Um, that would probably make the most sense. All right? So I think that's how we're gonna do it. Um, of course, we'll need to, you know, get everything. But I think, so right here is the center, this, this like cable here. So we'd place, we can't really go over one, so we'd have to like start it here, right? And then we could probably just run that cable. So it'd come down, right? Here, let's just actually place it here. All right. What is this supposed to be? Sand? So we need to get rid of that dust. Uh, let's just throw it in. I think one of these was like dust, right? Like comes for with dust. I don't know. We'll figure it out in a little bit. But anyway, so it comes down. So right about the same level as the other ones. And then we could probably just have this line Uh, we don't really need a gap in between them like this. We don't really need a gap in between them. But since this was a little bit more symmetrical, we'll do that. But since now we really can't be symmetrical with this side, it's going to be you know, a little bit more ugly. That's for sure. But all right, so we should be able to do that. Okay. And then we could put the sieves here and the sieves here. And actually, if we really, really wanted to and leave a gap between this and the system, we could probably scoot it over one. Which may be a crime, but it's okay. And we can just run one more cable here. And we'll actually basically do the exact same thing over here as well. Leaving that gap. And then we'll need to, well, actually, it'd be over here. Just because the cable's here. All right, and then we'll break this block. All right, and then we'll do this. Disconnect it here. And then do here, here, here. All right, that's the same level. Okay. And that's where the clicking block should be. So that's basically the idea for this, right? Um, yeah. Let me grab the sieves real quick. I'll set all the sieves down, and I think we'll wrap up the episode to finish this up in the next one. Alrighty, so let's get these placed down. 
Um, and actually, I do want a gap in between these because if I don't, they'll technically be rendered just like these, where it's like kind of like a multi-block. So it tried to like push all of its blocks into that thing. So one clicking machine probably wouldn't work. And I kind of want to have the ability to have two here. So we're going to push this over one block. Uh, just have like a little gap, which is fine. All right. And then all of those. So there's that. Now we basically need to have like the absorption hoppers in the middle. That's basically what our next step is. And these absorption hoppers are probably going to just start picking up stuff from each other, which is fine, of course. Don't really care. Um, I also really want to do something else, right? So before we end this episode, I want to think about another thing, right? So the ore pieces. I don't want them in the same system as everything else. I kind of want to place that right here because there's only seven, right? There's only seven ore pieces you can get in this game. Um, so... What that means is we have the ability to make like a smaller system with a drawer controller and just put seven drawers, which would allow for us to basically set up a crafting system much easier. Um, so what I think I want to do is probably come over here, I think, because I don't want it to be in the way. I think we should branch off the drawer system just a smidgen. And so this would be like the normal drawers. I don't even know how many drawers there are. Alrighty, so I've quickly just went ahead before we wrap up the episode and moved the drawers over here. So you can see I've kind of divided these up a little bit more. So this is kind of like more important stuff, you know, glowstone, lapis, redstone, diamonds. This is kind of just there. It's stuff that I really probably won't use that much. I mean, blaze powder, yes, that's really good. Um, but I'm not 100% sure how much I'll actually use this. Like, I don't know too much about this being in here, so maybe it'll be useful. But I'm not going to put it with, like, diamonds and stuff just yet. Maybe I will, but I'm trying to just kind of make these even a little bit. Um, of course, this is only four now, so it's kind of off-center, but that is okay. I'm currently just getting drawer controllers and stuff here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching episode 15. Uh, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.